since the late 19th century, um, science has been conducted under the aspect of a belief system or worldview, which is essentially that of materialism, philosophical materialism. And the sciences are now wholly owned subsidiaries of the materialist worldview. I think that as we break out of it, uh, the sciences will be regenerated. What I do in my book, The Science Delusion, which is called Science Set Free in the United States, um, is take the ten dogmas or assumptions of science and turn them into questions, seeing how well they, turn, how well they stand up if you look at them scientifically. None of them stand up very well, but essentially the ten dogmas, which are the default worldview of most educated people all over the world, are first that nature is mechanical or machine-like. The universe is like a machine, animals and plants are like machines, we're like machines. In fact, we are machines. We are lumbering robots, in Richard Dawkins' vivid phrase, with brains that are genetically programmed computers. Second, matter is unconscious. The whole universe is made up of unconscious matter. Um, there's no consciousness in stars, in galaxies, in planets, in animals, in plants, and there ought not to be any in us either, if this theory is true. Um, so a lot of the philosophy of mind over the last hundred years is being trying to prove that we're not really conscious at all. Um, so the matter's unconscious, then um, the laws of nature are fixed. Um, this is dogma three. The laws of nature are the same now as they were at the time of the Big Bang, and they'll be the same forever. Not just the laws, but the constants of nature are fixed, which is why they're called constants. Dogma four, the total amount of matter and energy is always the same. Um, it never changes in total quantity, except at the moment of the Big Bang, when it all sprang into existence from nowhere in a single instant. The fifth dogma is that nature is purposeless. There are no purposes in all nature, and the evolutionary, purpose, uh, the evolutionary process has no purpose or direction. Dogma six, um, the uh, her biological heredity is material. Everything you inherit is in your genes, or in epigenetic modifications of the genes, or in cytoplasmic inheritance. It's material. Dogma seven, Memories are stored inside your brain as material traces. Somehow everything you remember is in your brain in modified nerve endings, phosphorylated proteins. No one knows how it works, but nevertheless, uh, almost everyone in the scientific world believes it must be in the brain. Dogma eight, your mind is inside your head. All your consciousness is the activity of your brain and nothing more. Dogma nine, which follows from dogma eight, Psychic phenomena like telepathy are impossible. Your thoughts and intentions cannot have any effect at a distance because your mind's inside your head. Therefore, all the apparent evidence for telepathy and other psychic phenomena is illusory. Um, people believe these things happen, but it's just because they don't know enough about statistics or they're, de they're deceived by coincidences or it's wishful thinking. And dogma 10, mechanistic medicine is the only kind that really works. That's why governments only fund research into me mechanistic medicine uh, and ignore complementary and alternative therapies. Uh, those can't possibly really work because they're not mechanistic. They may appear to work because people would have got better anyway uh, or because of the placebo effect. Um, but uh, the only kind that really works is mechanistic medicine. Well, this is the default worldview, which is held by almost all educated people all over the world. It's the basis of the educational system, uh, the National Health Service, the uh, Medical Research Council, uh, governments, uh, and uh, it's just the default worldview of educated people. But I think every one of these dogmas is uh, very, very questionable. And when you look at it, uh, it, it turns, they, they fall apart.